Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. What a powerful statement, isn't it? And how true it is. Fear, often subtle yet potent, is a chain that binds us, unseen and unfelt, until we attempt to move. It is an insidious jailer holding us captive in the confines of our comfort zones away from the vibrant landscape of our dreams. But what is fear, really? At its core, fear is a physiological response, a survival mechanism wired into our biology. It prepares us for perceived threats, real or imagined. Yet psychologically, it can transcend its primal origins, becoming a barrier to our aspirations, a self-imposed limit. Fear can be a ghost, a spectral apparition that haunts our every decision, our every action. It can be a paralyzing agent, freezing us in time and space, keeping us from moving forward, from reaching out, from living our dreams. Fear, my friends, is not just an emotion. It's a prison, but it doesn't have to be. Have, let's dive into the deep end, shall we? Uh, picture this. Once upon a time, in a small town nestled amidst rolling hills, lived a woman named Lily. She was a talented artist. Her fingers danced on the canvas, creating magic. Her paintings were a riot of colors, each stroke a symphony, each piece a testament to her talent. But alas, Lily's masterpieces never saw the light of day. They remained hidden, stacked in her attic, gathering dust. Why, you wonder? Lily was paralyzed by the fear of criticism. She was afraid that her art wouldn't be appreciated, that people would mock her, judge her abilities and shatter her confidence. And so, the world was deprived of her talent, her fear acting as a self-imposed cage, holding her back from sharing her gift with the world. Now, let's journey to a bustling city where a man named Jack dreamed of starting his own business. Jack was a hard worker, a visionary. He had ideas that could revolutionize industries, create jobs and bring prosperity. But Jack never took the leap. He was shackled by the fear of failure. The thought of losing his savings, of being unable to provide for his family, of facing ridicule, kept him from chasing his dream. He chose the safety of his nine-to-five job, burying his entrepreneurial spirit under layers of fear and doubt. Each of these stories is a stark reminder of how fear can cripple us, hold us back from pursuing our dreams. Lily and Jack, talented and capable individuals, allowed their fears to overshadow their potential. The fear of criticism, the fear of failure, these dark shadows loomed large, obscuring the path to their dreams. And so their dreams remained just that, dreams lost in the shadows of their fears. But what if they had chosen to confront their fears? What then? Imagine the possibilities that could have unfolded if the individuals from our earlier anecdotes had chosen not to let their fears dictate their lives. Allow me to introduce the concept of fear setting. This is not about setting out to be fearful, but rather it's a technique to visualize our fears, to understand them, to face them head on. You see, when we confront our fears, we strip them of their power, we take back control. Fear setting allows us to think about the worst case scenarios, to plan for them, and then to move beyond them. It's not about eliminating fear, but about learning to dance with it. It's about transforming that fear into fuel for our journey, turning apprehension into action, dread into determination. So the next time fear whispers in your ear, don't turn away, listen, learn, and then leap into the unknown. You see, confronting your fears can open doors you never knew existed. So I leave you with this thought. As we have journeyed together through the unseen chains, the stories from the shadows and breaking free, we have unveiled a vital truth that our fears, often veiled as practical concerns or rational hesitations, can become the invisible shackles that bind us, preventing us from reaching out to grasp our dreams. Yet it is essential to remember that these fears, as formidable as they may seem, are not invincible. They can be confronted, they can be conquered. By doing so, we make room for our dreams to flourish, to take root in the fertile soil of our hearts and guide us towards a life that truly reflects who we are and what we aspire to be. The power to shape our lives lies within us. Let us not surrender it to our fears. Remember, too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. Don't be one of them. Embrace your dreams and let them guide your life.